If you are running a team, like give me some love if you are running a team. How many actual team leaders? How many actual team leaders do we have on the, on the, um, on the live right now? Just so I know how many folks I'm actually speaking to. If you're running a team, and I'm on your team, I wanna know, yeah, we got some team leaders. Okay, all right. I wanna know what hill we are supposed to, t okay, all these team leaders, yeah. What did you put this team together for? We put this team together to do what? In a super dynamic world of business, particularly today where we're all virtual, I need to look at you, my team leader, and you gotta tell me what we put this team together for. I don't necessarily mean a mission statement or a vision statement. What hill are we supposed to take? What's the team for? In today's world of work or business, what's the team together for? What's your family together for, weirdly enough? Like that, I want that from you. And of course, standout, the language of standout is designed to help you. If you're gonna be rallying us, and by the way, team leaders, just because you did it once doesn't mean it's over. You gotta keep rallying, right? Keep rallying. So, so how do you get me excited about taking this hill? Well, let's run through these nine. How do you get an advisor excited to be rallying to take that hill? Well, if you're an advisor, if you've got an advisor on your team and you wanna get them excited about taking the hill, say that if we take the hill, things will work better. Things will be more efficient, more effective. If you have a connector, then you wanna talk about how getting to the top of the hill is going to en enable so much more possibilities. You'll be able to describe the big picture much better if we get to the top of this hill. If you were creative, if you wanted to rally me to take the hill, you'd go, Marcus, if we get to the top of this hill, things will be thought through better. Things will be thought through better. If you're in, you've got an equalizer on the team, Talking to them about how it'll help you thought through better is like irrelevant. You've got to say to an equalizer, if you want to get to the top of this hill, we should do it because it's the right thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. It will mean we can follow through on our promises. Influencer, if you want to get an influencer excited about getting to the top of the hill, tell them all the repercussions, all the consequences that would happen if we don't do it. Remember, influencers think about consequences. Influencers think about repercussions. You wanna rally an influencer to take the hill? Talk about what would happen. The negative consequences if we don't. If you wanna look at pioneer, you wanna get a pioneer excited about going to the top of the hill, say that no one's ever been there before. No one's ever been there before. We would be the first at the top of the hill. This is new, this is difficult, this is exciting. Like, that's a pioneer. If you've got a provider on your team, then you will be talking to them about the fact that if we get to the top of this hill, more people's voices will be heard. More people will be included. More people will feel supported. That's your language. If you've got a stimulator, like me and Michelle, stimulators, you'll tell us, look, it's just, it's just more exciting on the top of that hill. Come on, get to the top of that hill because it's gonna be so incredibly dramatic for us to figure out how to get there. And think about how excited we'll be when we're on the top of the hill. And then of course for teachers, well for teachers, you're gonna be, so if you've got a teacher on your team, they're gonna be asking lots of questions and keeping space open for people to, what you'll say to the teachers is, if you wanna be excited about getting to the top of the hill, think about how much we'll learn, how much you'll learn, how many choices we'll make as we figure out our way up. Show the teachers how many little alternative paths there are that we're gonna to have to choose. So for team leaders here, if you've got a bunch of different people on your team, then, then figuring out what language to use to rally each person, that's super cool. And it's something that you'll get better at the more that, the more that you do it.